I'm going to show you how to make sugar cookies. You can make these with or without frosting, whatever you prefer. And I will show you how to make frosting for these sugar cookies. First, in the bowl of a sand mixer, or you can use an electric hand mixer, add in the softened butter and the sugar, and cream them together on high speeds for about a minute. Then add in the eggs and the vanilla extract and beat them on high speeds for 30 seconds. Making sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl using a rubber spatula to incorporate all the ingredients. Then add in the flour, baking powder, and salt and mix them on low speeds just until combined. Then turn the dough out onto some plastic wrap and use your hands to form it into a ball. This is quite a sticky dough, but don't add any more flour. Then wrap the dough in the plastic wrap and refrigerate it for at least an hour. You can even leave it overnight. Then preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Turn the dough out onto a floured surface. And roll it out to make it as even thickness as you possibly can. Then use a cookie cutter to cut out the shapes of the cookies and place them onto an ungreased baking tray. If the dough is sticking to the surface, then you didn't add enough flour. And once you cut out all the cookies, gather up the remaining dough and roll it out again. And continue doing that for the rest of the dough. If you would like a much easier and quicker way to do this, then what you can do is roll the dough into a log, making the diameter about 2 inches, and then wrap it in plastic wrap and place it into the freezer for about a half an hour. Then take it out and cut the log into a slices. Keep in mind that this won't make perfectly round cookies. Then place the trays into the oven and bake for about 8 to 10 minutes. And while they're baking, you can make the frosting. In a medium-sized bowl, add in the shortening, powdered sugar, milk, and vanilla extract and beat them with an electric mixer and then you can make it any color you want I'm going for a multicolored frosting then gently mix the colors together to get a ripple effect don't mix it too much or else they'll look quite muddy and once the cookies have baked and cooled, go ahead and frost them. And I'm also decorating them with sprinkles. And that's how to make homemade sugar cookies.